All right, guys, welcome. Um, we're going to watch this trade together. Uh, yeah, obviously my entry was pretty freaking suboptimal, pretty terrible. But we're coming into the end of New York lunch, and we've got buy side liquidity here up at 593 spot 75. Um, we've also got, let's get our regular trading hours. Um, equal highs up here at 618 spot 50. Um, as we exit the New York lunch session at 1330 and move into the New York PM session at uh, 1330, going into uh, 1400 guys, I'm expecting this 593 spot 75, that buy side liquidity there to be ran. And uh, I will end the video once it is ran. Um, and this is just going to give you uh, an example of the draw on liquidity guys so you see those equal highs right there that's 593 spot 75 um, as we exit the lunch session should just do like that that was my entry pretty suboptimal yes it was I'm not gonna lie it was But uh, anyways, um, I just wanted to give you a live example of what it looks like for price to start spooling um, and for price to go attack buy side liquidity. You, so guys, everything starts with the draw on liquidity and, and right now is going to be no exception. Um, there are stops sitting above that 593 spot 75 and price should uh, start spooling and go attack that. So I'm going to go step outside, get a breath of fresh air, come back. Let's uh, just watch see what price does here.
The New York PM session opens uh, in 10 minutes. And at that point, uh, between 1330 and then especially after 1400, uh, price should start accelerating. Speed should pick up. So there's a pool of orders that are sitting up here. The algorithm knows that and it should go um, attack them. Smooth edges are made jagged. That's like a plateau there. Price should have no problem getting through that. We've got five minutes to the New York PM open. Price should start accelerating at 1330 and then really pick up at 1400, 30 minutes from now. We're still in New York lunch, which is a 90 minute period from 1200 to 1330, and it uh, delivered sell stops. Oh, and do 
Lust. Wir haben genug geschüttet, Zeit verloren. Wir trinken zusammen. Keiner weiß für dein Ja für ein Leben und Mord Ja. Also. Watch and price. Waiting for the New York Open. PM Open. Wir warten. Yeah, price is still grabbing some short-term sell stops, I think. So I don't want to move my stop too quickly. You can see that that hasn't begun spooling higher yet. We're currently waiting for the New York PM session to open at 13.30. I'm aiming for that buy side liquidity. I predict that price is going to want to take out that 593 spot 75, be a 33.75 point trade. Looking for 30 points. In the PM session, but uh, it's still going after sell stops right now. So I don't really know where to put the stop other than where it is. Reclaim that busy there. One minute time frame. One minute time frame. Buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. Alright, the New York PM session is going to open in 30 seconds. And price volatility should increase shortly. Initial move higher on PM open.
тебе, все мысли о тебе, все слезы. Всех сторон. Все мысли о тебе, все слезы. So, we also see here, undelivered portion, buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency here. That will also be a draw on liquidity, but ultimately, it's that 593 spot 75. We do have equal highs up at 618 spot 50 as well, but that's obviously ambition. Of course, my entry was pretty terrible. 20 points off. But drawing liquidity is pretty clear to me. I highly doubt that uh, they will end the day not at least running 593 spot 75. That would be very surprising to me. Here we have a one minute order block. All right, so you see the price found good support there off that one minute order block. Um, 
This might be the start of the spooling process here. Of course, guys, everything is the draw on liquidity, right? So I know my stop is 30 points lower, uh, but I really didn't know where the stop should go other than below that black candle, but you can see that it, it swept that as well. I could, put it, I could have put it there, but ultimately I was already up 900 on the session, so I had a lot of drawdown. I have a lot of drawdown to give, $4,000 of drawdown. So uh, I'm not going to give up on this trade for for just a, a stop hunt, stop raid, stop sweep, return into that bullish order block. I'm not giving up on the trade because of that. So I was willing to take quite a bit of drawdown on this because I see it as highly unlikely that they're not going to run 593 spot 75. Those equal highs up there are very, very juicy, very attractive. So. You know, you see how it's like a flat table? They can just run right through that. No problem. And I believe now that we're looking pretty good. Just put it there. Going to wait for the break even stop and just wait on it. I don't want to give up on this trade. Um, kind of just want to end the day with this trade, to be perfectly honest. We will see, though. It comes back to drawdown, it comes back into drawdown. I really can't imagine that they don't sweep 593 spot 75. There's going to be too much liquidity up there. I can't. Cannot imagine that they're not going to take that. So we are now in the New York PM session. We're ten, about to be 10 minutes in. So we will see. I'm waiting. Um, I just want to be pretty careful with moving up the break even stop right now because, yeah, I actually want, I'm pretty confident in this trade. I really. Don't see why price would not want want that liquidity. So pretty confident they're gonna run that. Now at some point, they can't keep running sell stops if they're going to actually go and sweep 593 spot 75. They can't. They can't just keep running sell stops all day. Eventually, they have to actually go attack it. Uh, as you start running out of the trading day, the price needs to start accelerating to its objectives. That's why price can look like it's in a hurry, quote unquote, because they've just been kind of sweeping the sell stops for a while during New York lunch. You know time distortion and prices objective should be 593 spot 75 uh, so they can't sweep sell stops forever they actually have to you know start spooling and and, and get there at some point if they're going to get there so that's why you'll see price start rapidly accelerating to get to its objectives after a long period of time distortion It's not the right time for price to do something. It uh, will not do anything. Time distortion. Yeah, so good reaction off that uh, bear sorter block. Sorry, bullish sorter block. It's a breaker, by the way. High, low, higher, high. Kind of. Just going to call it an order block and leave it at that.
All right, more coffee. Getting tired. More coffee. Alright, price should accelerate. 
go attack that buy side liquidity. Want to start to see some movement as we reach 1350, which I believe is a macro, 1350 to 1410 would be the right time for a macro to initiate. Go take out that 593 spot 75 bread, bread and butter trade. Really? Again, I'm not rushing up the stop because they might still want to sweep some short term sell stops. So I'm just not rushing up the stop on this one. All right, I'm going to put it uh, two ticks, two points in profit. Five. 62. Okay, now we're playing with house money. That will cover just in case price wants to come back down 11, 10 points. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't stop us out. But for risk management, I needed to go ahead and move that stop break even. Yeah, trading's really nice when you've got a very clear draw on liquidity. There's no doubt in my mind that price should draw to that buy side. It should. I'm not saying it will. I'm saying it definitely should. So my draw on liquidity, I predict that price will trade through 593 spot 75. Get up there, trade through it. Potentially get up in the 600s. So, got a breakaway gap at the bottom of this sequence. Inefficiency that's uh, currently open. Which is a good thing. It does not look like price will want to come back and, and close it out. Leave it open. Which is what you want to confirm your bias. Obviously, Delta, Delta long right now. Okay. So you can make another 16 points on this. And potentially up, up, and away from there. One more contract. Yeah, price is running out of time of the day for it to keep continuously plundering sell stops. It's going to reach that 590, going to reach the buy stops, the buy side liquidity. It needs to start spooling up there aggressively. It's running out of day. Two more hours to go. The day session. So not a whole lot of time left. Less than half. Go from 0930 to uh, 1600. So, what is that? Two and a half hours plus six, eight and a half hours a day? 
Are you right? 0930 to 1600. 1600 to 1200 is four hours plus two and a half hours, six and a half hours. Six and a half hours. We're reaching the final third of the day, six of the six and a half hour regular tra uh, day session. Six and a half hours. So, Price has got. Price has two hours now to go plunder that buy side. So, Beely, it should want to accelerate. It's only got two hours left to do it. Go plunder those buy stops. Offload, offset, distribute the stops, sell stops that were taken uh, during New York lunch from Look at ICT stuff after the day session is over. Okay. Well, price uh, should want to accelerate now to our objective, and I will stop the video there when we hit those first two contracts. I hope it does not do any tomfoolery on me and and uh, not reach the objective. Now we've got six points to go. I don't think there should be any tomfoolery. Should want to get there. Got four, four points to go, but five points. I see no reason why Price would not want to finish that out. But it might take a few more minutes. It'll keep pretending like it's not going there. However long it wants to pretend like it's not going there. It can keep pretending for a while. But Price and I, we both know that it's going there. So Price and I, we have an understanding like it's going there so you know however long it wants to pretend like it's not going to take out that buy side liquidity is fine with me because uh, it's gonna there's virtually no uncertainty in my mind they're stop six points short no way now it's going to drive through it just spend a little time pretending like it's not going to might come back down another ten points before it gets up there because it likes to pretend like it's not going to do that, but it's going to. And it probably will accelerate through it, too. So, we'll spend a couple minutes pretending like, you know, they're not going to accelerate through it. But they will. There's too much liquidity up there. Algorithm knows that. Just however long it wants to pretend like it's not going to do that. Just keep pretending. You got four, five points to go. Three, three quarters points. I'm not moving that stop either. I'm. There's no way that price does not want to take that liquidity out. It's just not fathomable. fine fine I will move the stop I will lock in some profit right there should not want to come back down below that uh, one minute order block uh, 
it's just really upsetting. Why would it not want that liquidity? Eighteen hundred to a thousand in a second. Why would it not want that liquidity? All right, we're in the uh, bullish order block here. One minute time frame. Yeah, pretty wild. Guess I should have taken parcels there. I don't know. Why would it not want to drive through that liquidity to it and through it? It'd be very strange for it not at this point of the day not to want to go take out 59375. Just leave those people intact. No, I don't think so. It sounds very strange for price to do that. Price should want that liquidity, drive through it. It is its function, after all. But it wants to keep playing games with me and pretend like it doesn't want it. How would it not want it? There's perfectly equal highs up there. You know that's where all the stops are. A book map is showing you orders up there right now. It's guaranteed. clone this. See, there's another one. All right. Yeah, it would just be astonishing to me if price does not want to drive through that buy side liquidity like a freaking freight train. That would be astonishing. Quite unbelievable, really. Coming up on 1400. Price has got two hours left to get up there and rip that buy side liquidity. Got two hours left to do that. It might want the 600s. If all goes well, if not, I, you know, it's just surprising to me. reclaiming that order block now touching the top side of it yeah go we're in the New York PM session now 1400 got two hours left of the day session price should start accelerating it's only got two hours left to get that buy side liquidity at 593 so, 593 three quarters. Got a few points to get there, six points. Would seem unreasonable for me that price would not want that. All right, route two. It did. Uh, 
achieve that objective. Okay, guys. Um, that was attacking the buy side liquidity there at 593 three quarters. Um, I showed you the whole trade from start to finish, including from being in drawdown all the way up to the target. Um, we'll see if price wants to continue to draw higher, potentially up into the 600s. But for this example, I just wanted to show you um, just this. Bye-bye.